Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that you're all having a great day so far and thank you so much for joining me on another video. So I thought today we would talk about 10 spring essentials that I personally feel will add a lot of value to your wardrobe. Now the pieces that I'm going to talk you through are probably things that I already have or you possibly already have in your wardrobe and maybe you're not really sure if it's something that you would like to wear this year but I tell you that these particular items not only are going to add a lot of value and elevate your personal style they're going to be classic pieces that will last you a lifetime. So with all of that being said Let's get started with spring essential number one. Without a doubt, it has to be the trench coat. I know that trench coats can be worn most seasons, but I personally feel that the trench coat is the perfect outerwear piece that can really, really elevate your style. And it goes with anything. If you find the right style, the right cut, the right length, you can possibly style it in multiple different ways. I personally find that a classic trench never goes out of style, makes you look very polished and put together. And you can wear it not only with a tracksuit, but in a very, very sophisticated way as well. Spring essential number two is going to be the blazer. Again, another outerwear piece, but a little bit lighter than a trench coat. I absolutely love blazers i find them very stylish and i also feel like they make you look very chic depending on the tone that you're buying or your particular taste i personally like a more relaxed fit with the boxy cut but i also really like blazers that are a little bit more fitted with a stronger shoulder i find that really elevates the outfit it makes you look a little bit taller and slender and it looks really really chic spring essential number three in my opinion this particular year is a good high-waisted pair of trousers with a wider leg to give you that that really flowy feel. I love a good high-waisted pair of trousers. Most of the ones that I have in my wardrobe are a high-waisted <laughs> pair of trousers just because I find it very flattering on most body shapes. And a good wide leg is very chic and elegant. You can wear it with trainers, with ballet flats, with sandals, with heels, with boots. It's a versatile piece. And going for the right tone is also very important. And don't be afraid to style a very light pair of trousers with black accents. I actually find that makes the trousers stand out a lot more. Black is one of my favorite tones. Combining it with something a little bit more fresh, looking like these trousers, really makes the color stand out in a very subtle way. And I absolutely love it. Spring essential number four without a fail is going to be a blue button-up shirt whether if it's plain or maybe with some stripes is absolutely fine but the blue shirt for me is a symbol of warmer weather especially when spring kicks in you'll probably see it here and there it's a tone that you can wear the entire year but i personally prefer to wear the lighter blues spring and summer it's going to be a piece that you're going to reach for a lot. It goes with trousers, with shorts, with skirts, with dresses, as an overshirt on top of something else like outerwear almost for those cooler evenings that it's actually not that cold but you want to have a layer of warmth. I find that a shirt or a button-up shirt is very very suitable for these particular settings especially if you find the right tone. That kind of like light to medium tone right in the middle that is the perfect one for the spring and summer. Spring essential number five is going to be the Breton top, the striped top. This will never, I believe, ever, ever go out of style. It's a very chic way of elevating a very simple outfit. I personally love wearing stripes the entire year. I have heavier knits, I have lighter knits, I have shirts or t-shirts. I always have a piece in my wardrobe that is striped because I absolutely love it. It goes so well with spring and summer, especially when the weather starts warming up. You can wear it on its own, depending on the fabric, how heavy it is, or on the garment itself, or you can wear it if it's a little bit heavier on top of a t-shirt. It always adds a little bit of interest to the outfit. So having a Breton top is definitely 
in my opinion, one of the most important spring essentials. Spring essential number six is going to be the penny loafer or just loafers in general. I again find that this particular item is a classic, never goes out of style, always makes you look chic and put together, always makes you look polished, whether you're wearing jeans, a dress, a skirt, or trousers. It really adds that element of elegance to anyone. I personally prefer a basic penny loafer, but just loafers or backless loafers are good as well. I love wearing them when the weather warms up a little bit. There's penny loafers in many stores at this time of year. The new season is coming, so keep your eyes open if you are on the hunt for ones because they will be a great essential for your wardrobe springtime. Spring essential number seven is going to be a nice pair of clean cut white trainers. This again, another classic. And it doesn't matter what brand, if you buy something a lot more affordable to something a little bit more expensive, as long as it has this beautiful clean cut white trainer look, it will make you look very, very elegant. I personally love Superga. I love Maveja Campo. A lot of people like All Stars and those are perfectly fine or a pair of Vans even. A white trainer is super versatile in your wardrobe because you can wear it with flowy dresses, you can wear it with shorts, you can wear it with trousers, with jeans, because you can have a classic looking outfit, you add a pair of trainers, it kind of dresses down the outfit a little bit, but still looks very polished and put together. Spring essential number eight is going to be a tote. And these three tones that I'm going to suggest, either taupe, off-white, or camo. I absolutely love these tones and they go so well with spring and summer colors. Now, why am I mentioning a tote? I find that springtime is a time that sometimes we carry an extra layer that we may want to add or remove at some point in the day. So having a tote, you could just fold it, make it nice and tidy and place it in your bag rather than having to carry it if you don't wanna do it on your shoulders, which is quite chic. But a bag like that will help you carry extra stuff that you may need throughout the day. So that's why I'm mentioning totes. But if you prefer a bag that is a little bit smaller and more dainty, you can definitely go for that. But I personally would recommend the three tones that I suggest as spring essentials. Spring essential number nine is going to be the cropped cardigan. And I don't mean a super short cardigan. I mean the ones that finish over here and that kind of look like the tweed jackets that Jackie Onassis used to wear. I absolutely love this style and I really, really welcome this style into my closet as well. I have two from Massimo Dutti and every time I wear them, I love them. I cannot wait for spring to come and I can wear those as my outerwear rather than wearing them just as a layering piece underneath a coat. They give you a nice feminine touch without being too overly dressed and they can be dressed down or dressed up in my opinion. Again, I would personally style these with jeans in the spring, but if you wanna wear them with trousers, they look amazing and they really make you look elegant and very, very chic. And spring essential number 10 is going to be the classic and everlasting ballet flats. It's been in our lives for decades. Again, it's not something that is going to disappear at any point. Everywhere I go, I see versions of ballet flats that look very feminine. Some look a little bit more casual. I just love a good ballet flat. These are a classic style of shoe that really makes you look feminine, elegant, very polished. Doesn't matter what you're wearing on top, you put a pair of ballet flats, it completely transforms the outfit. And when I say it doesn't matter what you're wearing on top, we all have a little bit of common sense, right? We need to look good when we leave the house, even if we are dressed quite casual. I just love the look of them. I have at least four or five pairs in my wardrobe at the moment, and I keep them on rotation when the weather warms up. So something definitely to look into if you don't have them already. 
So there you have it, my classic spring essentials for 2023. Of course, this is only my list. Your list might be completely different. Make sure to comment below letting us know what are your essentials for any springtime or the things that you are looking forward in adding to your wardrobe as a classic piece for you to wear in this upcoming season. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.